Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. This is Vintage Top 4 for the Untap Open League Season 4. So I'm going to be rocking, of course, Blazing Infect, as I always do. If you've seen any of my videos for any of the Untap Vintage Seasons, you've seen this deck. Uh, yeah, it tries to kill off of... Doo -doo -doo -doo, Blazing Shoal, off of Progenitus, pitching Progenitus, or pitching Blasphemous Act. That's one win condition. Uh, I said Blasphemous Act. There it goes. <laughs> it also has Tinker, which can go and get Blightsteel Colossus, because two-card win condition. That's always fine. And it actually also runs one Show and Tell, which if I have a spare copy of Blightsteel or Progenitus in hand, it gives me a way to win. Um, and my opponent is on yet another Karn deck, because of course my opponent's on a Karn deck. Uh, four Walking Blista, four Frakeson Revoker, one Lodestone Golem, the, the typical creature list in that uh, list. Uh, Karn Sinever is also kind of a creature. Uh, there's Karn the Great Creator. All these shenanigans. Two Opals is interesting, three keys again in the main board, four Monoliths. It's, it's the fast mana kind, which my deck basically doesn't care about. Uh, we care about a few cards in here, like a turn one Trinisphere, that's a thing. Um, I'll be on the play, because top seed. So because this is, debating on this, this is a good keep or not. So I'll just, I'll send the turn right on over. And I will say, uh, my opponent actually has to decide uh, player keep first. I'm actually going to wait until I hear from my opponent, because that might influence my decision. This is a, an interesting hand. So it has Ink Moth, Land Land, that's good. It has Force of Will, Blue card, that's good. And it has Blazing Shoal. Uh, unfortunately, the trick is that it doesn't have... So it has two of the three combo pieces. It's missing Progenitus or Blasphemous Act. If my opponent lets me, if we say top deck into a blue card, or if we don't need to pitch this Force of Will, I can try for Preordain and uh, see if I can make it. <laughs> that would be nice. Preordain into Progenitus just to win the game. Uh, but because this is... Sorry, grabbing your list. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. It's a weird list. It's not like a... Uh, like a, a Karn list, like where you know most of it going in. There may be a few flex slots, but the vast majority of the list is pretty well established at this point. Uh, in my case, no. This is vintage in fact. This is random as heck, or so it seems. Uh, the drink for the night is Waterloo Sparkling Black Cherry. So, mineral water. So, it's nice. It has a nice little sound. Mmm. And an even nicer taste. Okay, mold of six. Keep. Keep. So this uh, this force of will it's much better against a mold of six on in the Karn deck. That's pretty nice. That's okay. All right. Now, uh, stretch on ancient tomb. Mox opal. I can't see what it is yet. It's a monolith. We're going to say cool. That's fine. Monolith three. Trinisphere? Uh, nope, nope, okay. Nope. Can we play through that? Technically, yes, but my opponent's up so much mana, it's not even funny. Alright, so this opens us up to Ballista, unfortunately. That's just the nature of the game. Uh, I'm not going to go for the turn two, because, I mean, well, for one, I have time walk, so there's no need anymore. So we're just going to do this and pass the turn. Play out a land, pass the turn. So I play lands in front on untap, and if you watched other videos of mine, paper videos, you know that's usually not what I do. I notice that when I double click a- hey, Wasteland, there you go. Uh-oh, Wasteland. So we are off the Ink Moth plan, unfortunately. Ooh, okay. I see a Karn coming my way. Nope, nope, that's a Revoker. Now, Revoker names non-lands, so it won't do anything against Ink Moth, but unfortunate. now, we can still kill here. We can, uh, I'm gonna say, nope, that's good. We can actually still kill. We can go uh, Ink Moth, Time Walk, Draw Progenitus, win the game. So that is a thing. Uh, let's see what they're going to name, though. Black Lotus, yep, fair enough. Seems good. Uh, there's not a lot that's good in my deck to name with Phyrexian Revoker, unfortunately. I have Playset of Moxen, Black Lotus, and that's basically it. Alright. 
so I'm strongly considering fetching here. And in fact, I think I will. We're gonna fetch to deck then. Cuts the clock down by a turn, but that's probably fine. We're actually going to go on a hunt for Underground Sea. Because they have a Wasteland and we have two Underground Seas already, and let's face it, they're not going to go Wasteland into Underground Sea. They're going to go on Ink Moth. This is going to be okay. This is safe, more or less. So we'll draw. Black Lo- Ooh, of course. Of course. Uh, uh, hello? Time Walk. Cycle the Time Walk. This is just an explore. Time Walk becomes explore. Next turn. Am I dead? Omae wa mou shindeiru. I know not necessarily. You are not necessarily dead. No, you are not dead. You are very not dead. Well, that's unfortunate. I think I should play this out anyway. <laughs> well, this didn't work out. Hey. Rum luck gets you sometimes. If I don't play the Underground Sea, they're still going to hit Ink Moth. Uh, keeping it real, they're still going to hit Ink Moth. Alright. Hi, yeah. Hello? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this thing is funny sometimes. Um, is there any reason to hold up the second mana here? Alright, I'm gonna tempt fate. There is no way they don't save this Wasteland for Ink Moth. But just on the off chance, I'll save it. If they hit the Underground Sea, I'll have a second to go. You're not dead. Unless, you're not dead. Yeah, that's still tapped. It's okay, there's a button that untaps everything, so it just, it's faster. I thought I heard something. Oh, just doing it now. Fair enough. I guess when you have all that mana, you really don't need to wait. Hmm, taking two. One, two. Ooh. Now, this is best of five, by the way. Alright. Pass turn. Uh, I'm assuming we're gonna untap the monolith, right? Mm, we got... Okay, so, life total was changed. I don't think I saw them tapped, but we see what's happening. We, we get it. And that is tap four, so... Sorry, Opal. You did what you could. Uh-oh. That looks like a Karn. That's a Lodestone Golem. Ooh. I'm gonna say Resolves. Taken two. Yeah, unfortunately, doesn't look like we're getting there this game, folks. We'll test it out. Preordain? Ancient Tomb, the price of glory. In some matchups, it just doesn't matter. This is one of those matchups. Alright, so it resolves because shops. Alright, so look at the top two cards. Don't find card. Okay, what do we have? Uh, that's a mystical tutor. Um. So. Hmm. I think I can still win off that. I think I can win off Mystical Tutor, Tinker. Is that right? Is that right? Alright. 
Okay. Uh, no, I don't have enough mana to do it quickly enough, I think. Oh no, I don't think I have enough mana to do it quickly enough. So, it's fine, it's fine. Please come in, Evangeline. I thought that would be you. It's hey there, darling. And here, she wanted to bring her cherries, too. Cherries. Ooh, yummy, yummy. Please come here. Please come in. Hey. They'll come in. What is it, honey? Is something wrong? Mm. Hey, it's not on my hand. It's not on your hand. Any more of the green beans on tonight? my elbow. I appreciate it. Thank you. I am recording, though. I'm sorry. It's okay. You didn't know that. You didn't know. Mama Lynn is sweet. All right, we'll draw. I'm going to do something that looks a little funny. I think, Evangeline, even though I can't actually use this, I think I would like to play it out. There you are. Oh, you're on camera now. All right. This is going to look strange, but we're going to play the one mana Black Lotus. We can't cast the Mystical Tutor here anyway. And Mental Misstep doesn't matter for this, so we're going to say pass the turn, and we're going to take a big hit this turn. Actually, I don't know that we can win. That Jay? costs zero. Oh, crap. Jay? It does cost zero. Oh yeah, dub 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 dub. That's a Phyrexian Revoker is cutting me off from actually being able to use it, but there's no sphere effect right now. Wait, 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 no, there is. There is not a sphere effect, there's a lodestone effect. Lodestone is non artifact. We got there. We got there. Alright, suddenly I'm getting distracted. What is it? Uh the movie just ended. Ended. That's right, it did. The movie ended. Did you mean to do anything else? Hmm. It still means that I can't play the Mystical Tutor, though, because, alas, that is not an artifact. So, unfortunately, uh, we're, we're kind of in a pickle. We're about to take seven here and go to seven. Now, there's a sphere. I think this game is now foreclosed. So, on my turn, I can use Mystical Tutor. Oh, you know what? Given that, I probably should have just not drawn the mystical tutor, shoved it to the bottom, and tried to go for a tinker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To be fair, I did suddenly start getting a distraction coming in right at that inopportune time. Alright, so we'll see. We'll draw. We will untap. Now here's the trick. I can try to draw, but actually at this point it doesn't really matter what I draw. Um, if I draw a Tinker, I won't be able to play it because I don't have enough mana. I'm off by a bit. Thank you, Phyrexian Revoker, for that. Phyrexian Revoker actually got there. Shoutouts to Phyrexian Revoker. Sometimes the blind pick is indeed what you need. And, um... Hmm, let's see. Is there any way that Mystical Tutor here saves me? It does not. So I'm going to try to take a natural draw. Oh, right on time, buddy. Right on time. Okay. Uh, game two, and I'll see what the next draw would have been. Not that it matters, actually, because that was Progenitus. Oh, it was another Progenitus. Okay. We are good. I'm gonna scoop it up. Oh, beat me to it. Scoop the cards and start a new game. So let's see what these seven have. Now, I still think that I would like to be on the play in this game. I still think so. I actually have a choice. Because I lost, whoever loses gets to choose first, but once I look at my seven cards, I don't get to choose anymore. Now, it's rare that this deck would like to be on the draw. There are some instances where that's the case. I don't think that Karn Shops is, because we would like to get up before their sphere effects. And that is a hand. That is, oh wow, good googly boogly. We have Blazing Shoal Progenitus, Force of Will blue card, fast mana, good grief, there's a lot going on here. Uh, the only issue I can see is that if we have to counter something on turn one, we'll have to pitch Progenitus, uh, if I take this. So I will keep. This is better than, yeah, we'll say keep. Yeah. Viper is, is sometimes a little, um, oh, mold, okay. A little terse. Sometimes 
it doesn't come out the way I think it's meant. It comes out a little, um, no, not from you, not from you. So sometimes when he's trying to be helpful, it, it comes out as, uh, as icky. Alright, so we're going to start off with, let's see, I should go land. I actually probably should do, okay, so I'll go Mock Sapphire. This is not a forceful deck, so it's fine. I get, I get to do this. Mock Sapphire, Preordain, see what we can draw. And that'll determine whether I play land or Misty Rainforest. If I keep the two on top, I'll play the land so that I don't have the chance to fetch something away. Look at the top two. My touchpad has messed me up, so I have to be very careful with that. There's an Ink Moth Nexus. Hallelujah. Can we just go for the turn two kill? I mean, Wasteland and Strip Mine are cards. There's about a one in two chance uh, that my opponent is going to have it. But I think I would like to keep both of these, actually. So we can draw Ink Moth and still have Preordain on top in case they happen to deal with it. I'll also have a blue card as well. Um, once again, the downside is that I'll have to force a will pitch Progenitus if worse comes to worst. So I can try to take it slowly. The slow and steady way is take the Preordain here instead, draw that, draw Ink Moth next turn. And if I do that, that means I'll be able to have force of will and not have to pitch Progenitus. In other words, I'll have a safer turn one. Um, but what do I worry about for my opponent on turn one? Not Chalice. Chalice is not a thing in this. Not Sphere or Thorn, because I'll have to pay the extra one, but I can do that. Uh, because I have enough lands. It's pretty much just Wasteland, and Wasteland doesn't get hit with Force of Will. Trinisphere would be a card. That, that's something I have to worry about. But it's easier to play around a 5 of than a 1 of. Strip Mine and 4 Wasteland versus the 1 of. So I'm actually going to maybe make a mistake here. Maybe make a mistake. I'm going to draw. But is this a heart? It kind of does look like a heart. Is this a heart? That looks like a heart to me. And pass the turn. Oh, I like your little heart. There's a Mishra's Workshop. Okay, we might be in okay shape. That's four mana. Please play Lodestone Golem. That would, be, that would not be bad. If my opponent has a Lodestone Golem, then we're in okay shape. Lodestone means we win. What is that? That's a mana symbol. Huh. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I, I've never seen an opponent pull those out against me before. Let, let's read the note here. Generic? Um, let's check the list. Let's check the list again. <coughs> Are you all right, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. This is any this is any color. This is for artifacts. Okay. Very interesting. This is a way to keep up with how much mana can only be spent on artifacts. I've never seen an opponent do that, but I respect that. I'm going to actually get to say that to Viper. I respect that. <laughs> Alright. And by the way, she has her bunny ears because she was hopping around like a bunny earlier. Alright. Now this may oh voltaic key. It's good. Look. Yes, honey. Three, four, untap, three, six. Look at them too. You can't see anything because your bunny ears are in front of your face, aren't they? Uh-oh, uh-oh, red alert, red alert. All right. <coughs> we got there. Are you going to win? Well, I was hoping we would win immediately, but right now, it doesn't look like it. We, we don't get the turn two kill. We're going to draw a preordain here. Evangeline, could you do me a big favor, please? Your bunny ears are actually right in my... I'm having to do this or this to get around your bunny ears. You know what? I'll make this one. No, no, don't, don't get in front of me, please. Oh, you're trying to get down. I appreciate that. That's nice of you. May I please hold your hand? 
Evangeline, yes? I do need to get my cherries. Okay. Stamp. Okay. This is a... Okay. This is a big decision point, so I do need to focus, please, okay? Fatal push. All right, we're going to shove both of these to the... Uh, Evangeline, please. I... <laughs> Move it to the bottom of the deck. Move it to the bottom of the deck. Thank you. And then we will draw a card. Aww. I was trying to hug you. It's super hard when you're on camera. You're right, it is. It is. Thank you. Okay, well, that was interesting. So had I played that the other way around, I actually would have been in okay shape. I think my reasoning was sound, but in this case it turned out not to be as effective. So things I can do here. On the one hand, it might make sense to deck then by playing a fetch land, but on the other hand, I know two cards I would not like to see are on the bottom. Now that we've already dealt with one ballista, it's probably not going to be the case that the other one's going to do much. So we're going to activate, hit for one. Yes? I'll tell you what happened. Oh, what happened, honey? Kind of fell off my chair. I believe you. You were playing around with that quite a lot. Yeah, I kind of fell. I believe off you. Off of my chair. I'm sorry. How did that happen? Off the back. My brain was oh. safe. Yeah, because you have a skull. We learned about skulls and how they help us. My brain was safe, but my arm, my elbow or my arm wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Viper's doing a good job of dodging these turn two kills, actually. I guess last game would have been a turn three kill because of time walks. So technically, it would be my third turn. Feels like a turn two. So, played Inventor's Fair. That's good. Mm hmm. I see that. There's Cyndaquil. Not right in front of my face, please, love. It's gonna use that to untap Grim Monolith. Now, four mana, Grim Monolith. It's probably a Karn. Oh, that Karn. Interesting. I'm gonna say that resolves. That's a, that's a decently quick clock, actually. Right now, the count is 1, 2, 3, plus the Karn struck would be 4. Cyndaquil, please give me, let me focus, okay? I'm trying to think. Make sure I do this correctly. Alright, there's a Karn struck. Alright. May the top of my deck serve well. No, it doesn't actually have counters. Alright, we got there. Got to 4. Indeed, it does not actually have counters. This might, this is, I think, the first time I've actually seen a Karn Scion of Urza played against me in this whole Vintage League, which is surprising because of how many there are. Now the shields are down for one turn, so if we can draw it, we did not draw it. Hmm, okay. How did they figure? How did they figure? What do you mean? How do you know, how did they know that the cards were down? Alright. Well, it doesn't do me any good to go after my opponent, so I'm going to go after Karn so that if they would like to make another one, they'll have to sack the Karn. Target source. Target you, buddy. Alright. Change it from... Oh! Okay. Fix that. Fix that. Hear that. Okay, so once again, if I shuffle, technically that's deck thinning, but the problem with that is that there are two cards on the bottom, I know what they are, and I would like not to draw them. So if I do it right now, I would basically be drawing out of a 47 card deck to find my hits. Alright, Karn's gone. If I shuffle though, 
I'll have 48 cards, but then I'll be drawing out of a 48 card deck. Because I could hit those cards again. So right now, it actually doesn't make sense. Alright, we're on that pretty quick clock. Alright, we gotta hurry. We have to hurry. I would very much like not to go down 0-2, especially after two very close kills. One top deck would have done it for me. I'm gonna move it to this side, please, since this hand's holding you. Thank you, my love. Oh, uh, Inventor's Fair. Sack Inventor's Fair. Teleron Academy may 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana, which is 1 extra, 1 extra generic. Alright, let's see what my opponent has. They can spend the generic on Voltaic Key to untap Monolith to tap it to have 3. Ooh, Ballista. Tinker is still live. Tinker is live. We can win if we find Tinker. It'll be tough. No, wait. Huh. I actually don't know if we win if we find Tinker. Hmm. Alright, so it's in their hands. They haven't played it yet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, taking 2, 7, 8, 9. Alright. With one to spare. Well, it resolves. Hmm. Well, you win 0% of the games you concede, so I will not concede. I will keep is playing. Is this one, or is this two? This is game two. Hmm. Alright. Um, I'll, I'll ask no effects. Just to make sure. There is a Ballista out, so it can be a thing, but no, there's not going to be any Vex. Nope. Alright, taking six. Doo -doo 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 -doo. At this point, I don't believe that I actually can win anymore. I don't believe that it's possible. Oh, please bring that down. Alright, nope, we cannot. Game three. So let's see. Obvious cards that uh, obvious ends are in. Uh, Energy Flux, Hercules Recall times three. We're actually going to do this the same way that we did against our last opponent in top eight. Since we're on the draw, we're going on the play rather. We're going to bring in Damping Sphere, but we're not going to bring in Echoing Truth. We actually can do Sorcerer Spyglass, and let's see if I can find room for that. That's a tricky one. So on the play. Gitaxium, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Gitaxium Probe is better. Force of Will is interesting. I believe that I will take out Force of Will on the play. I believe that that's correct. Mental Misstep, while it hits Voltaic Key, Soul Ring, Mana Vault, it doesn't do anything else. And then there was one more I took out last time, and I believe that it was a Preordain, but I'm not actually positive of that. So looking through the rest of the cards, probably was a Preordain. Hmm. I am. I could also try out Blasphemous Axe, taking that out. That'd be interesting. Mystical Tutor appreciates Blasphemous Axe, that's the reason it's in there. So it's probably right to keep it in. Plus, well... Okay, we'll go for it. Blasphemous Axe will stay in. We're just going to go on the mono quick kill plan. Worst comes to worst, Evangeline. You know what? We'll still be top four. That's pretty good. Top four in a 32-person tournament's not bad. What do you think? You don't know, do you? No. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. In this case, the smaller the number, the better. So top four is better than top eight. Cyborg time, I've no idea what City in a Bottle does here, but if it shows, I will have to look up cards. All right, so City in a Bottle. Uh, spoiler alert, not coming in for this game. Not coming in. Uh, the card, Bazaar of Baghdad was printed in Arabian Nights. Bazaar of Baghdad is, of course, a staple in Dredge. And that's what City in a Bottle is for. How many times have I come up against Dredge this season? Do you know what this number is? Zero. Zero, that's right. Zero times, unfortunately. 
Uh, City in a Bottle has random other utility, but uh, I'm not bringing it in for Library of Alexandria. I, it's just bizarre. This is an in it's interesting to me how many people here or well okay maybe to be fair while it's been a few people that have expressed that they don't know what City in a Bottle does I am extrapolating out I don't know how many people actually legitimately do not know what that card does draw our seven okay so we have Mox 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 <laughs> underground say Hercules recall Hercules recall <laughs> okay Evangeline I'm gonna say this is a good keeper. I, do, I believe you. You play with my hair quite a lot, so I definitely believe that. Alright, making sure it's all good. It's all showing up on the screen. Hmm. Alright. I'm going to rest my eyes for a little bit. Hi. We went to the pool today, and my eyes were in the water. Hmm. Yes, honey? It was today, wasn't it? It, it was. Vipes is still... oh wait, wait. Oh yeah, Viper pulls his cards uh, one at a time. Okay, please don't do that when we actually start the game. If you don't mind. Keep. Okay. Best of luck to you. Should have said that earlier. Hmm. I hope that I'm the kind of person for whom that's implied. I hope. I don't know if I should wait for a response or if I should just move on. Um, it may be rude for me to just move on, but on the other hand, I don't... who cares, I guess? Um, it may not be the kind of thing that Viper sees as rude. Alright, I'm gonna do this first. Alright, now I need to focus, Evangeline. Two. There's another land and a brainstorm. I think I have to, right? I have to go brainstorm and hold up the perfect fetch. I believe that that's what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. So it doesn't really matter what the order is for these two. I will switch them around. And the reason I'll switch them around is just in case they have... Well, let, let's see if they have like a sorcerer spyglass or something in the sideboard. So they do. On the off chance that Sorcerer Spyglass sees my hand, they won't see which fetch land to name. It's an extremely corner case. Okay. Yes, love? Could you please give me some? Yes. Here you go. Thank you for waiting and letting me focus. That was very nice of you. So just in case Chalice on One shows up. Now, Credit where credit's due, Viper is actually in... Like, Viper has mulled the six twice, and ended up being okay, so far anyway. Well then. Okay, so Viper wasn't waiting. Maybe Viper's the kind of person who doesn't see that they... Who, who doesn't see it as rude to not respond to that. Like, usually the answer is, and you too, or something, but I think we're okay. Alright, so three mana. Hopefully that yet, yeah, Trinisphere, shut down Trinisphere, shut down Trinisphere. Gotcha. Fair enough. I don't want that to seem rude. Like, gotcha, like, oh, my hand gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not how I... I care too much about that sort of thing. I am positive that's not the kind of thing that... Alright, so we have that, we have those out. One, two, three. Brainstorm. Take one down, brainstorm around. And of course this resolves. Because of course it does. So we will go one, two, three. Oh my goodness. Evangeline, there's a term for that. Gorgeous. Um, so, we can do a few things. I actually don't know that I would like to fetch here. That's reason. That's reasonable. All of these cards have some purpose in the matchup. Obviously, Flooded Strand is just there to fetch and give me a second blue source in case they hit me. Ink Moth is the reason they won't hit me with Wasteland. <laughs> uh, Blazing Shell is a combo piece. Time Walk is just an extra turn. Hercules Recall times two. 
it may be superfluous. I may not need to have two. So I believe what I'm going to do is... Now, I could wait to play the Ink Moth Nexus, just on the off chance that once again I draw into a Progenitus or, or a Blasphemous Act. Uh, so I could go put two back, put like Hercules Recall, Time Walk back, Hercules Recall, then Time Walk, play the Flooded Strand, don't fetch because we actually can use the Hercules Recall. Oh, but, ah, uh, do I need... Yes, I, I, I do think I need double Hercules Recall this game. Ooh, this is tricky. This is tricky. But I think that's what we're going to do. Despite the Flooded Strand, I don't think that I'm going to fetch. <sighs> Maybe I'm getting greedy. Maybe I only need one. Plus, I could find it again. Okay, okay. So here's the deal. We'll do a slightly perfect fetch here. We'll draw one of our cards. Right, so put this back on top. And then it doesn't matter what the other one is we put back. Itchy nose. Itchy, itchy nose. We'll do time walk. Okay. Play a flooded strand. And... Pass. You know what? It's... What's done is done. There's a good case to be made for keeping the time walk and fetching so that I can get as many looks at new cards as I can, but I really would not like to put back double Hercules Recall, because the only way I can do that and keep all the combo pieces is if I put back double Hercules Recall, and I really would not like to do that. Hercules Recall is too good a card for this matchup, especially when they lead off of a workshop. There's a Soul Ring. I don't have enough mana anyway, but it's still, I think, proper to say no response. Well, I do have a fetch land, so there is technically something I could do. Academy, making two. Okay. So we have four mana and two... Well, no, no, we don't, because this actually costs three mana. <laughs> Oops. There's a monolith for three mana. So we have one floating. Man. Thank you. Alright. Alright. So, time walk. Now we know what this next card is. My question for me is... Do I need to hold up Hercules Recall? Do I need the second Recall? I'm going to say no. Alright. Risk it for the biscuit. I, I think it's correct for me to say no here. I believe that it's correct. We'll get a half-perfect brainstorm. Alright. Let's look, see what we have. Look at the top doesn't matter cards. Let's just find the card. Find the darn thing. And it should auto-shuffle after- well, actually it doesn't matter, because I didn't change the order of the cards there. I I'm sorry, Viper, if you're OCD. I hope this isn't messing with you. Bless your heart. Alright. Yes, love? Yes? Wait a minute. Did I... Ah, oh, crap. Wait, wait. Does it not... Let me make sure. It's looking for a card. It... I have enough copies. I could have just legitimately found another one, but it doesn't say shuffle. All right, Evangeline, please give me just a moment. This is an important thing. Um, I don't see a message saying shuffled. Uh, 
Um, because I thought that I remembered. I may be wrong. I may be. I thought I remembered when you finish looking for a card and you close it auto shuffles. I I don't believe so. Um. I guess so. Yeah, I I don't. This could just be this. This could be the same one, or it could be another. Hmm. Because I have multiple copies, it's not like it ha well. Even if it were the same, even if it did shelf, I could find the same copy. Um, got a problem. I think it's correct for me to. to point this out. Even though this is probably going to cost me the match. I... No offense, Viper, I think you're the kind of person that's going to say, uh, concede the game because of this. I think. I think that's the read I have from you. Um, to be fair, and while it is a UI error, it's not a mistake I would make in paper, I have been playing this for long enough, I really should... Yes? I wonder if you've been playing this for a long time. Oh, sorry. I missed the shuffle after fetching. I missed that untap doesn't automatically do that when you close find card. That was a lot. Yeah, it was. That was a bit. It's technically it's actually worse for me to have this card as you can imagine since I meant <laughs> to shuffle it away. LOL. Actually, okay, please, honey, worse for me. All right, thank you. Hmm. I can play through it if I need to. Like, it's Hercules Recall. It's not the worst card I could have. To be fair, it's... I'll live. If worse comes to worse... So regular would make you shuffle a random... away and draw. Okay. We can do that. I don't know if my opponent can see if I change the order of cards in my hand. Um, so it's fair to do a random card. So, that's fair. I assume, by the way that Viper worded this, is, but because we're in top 8, comp cause top 8 would v-click you. Um... Oh, I see, I see. So what Viper's saying is that everything before top 8, even though it's technically in tournament, is played at regular REL. Um, in top 8, though, we play competitive REL. Now that's a little surprising to me because the last game, when I, I, uh, I think I did something, it may have been my opponent, but I'm pretty sure I messed up, uh, my opponent just let us go back. So I'm a little surprised. Um, we can do that, oh, excuse me please, um, it's the bunny ears, the bunny ears are getting in the way. We can do that. It is what it is. What it is. If I'm not mistaken, I think that I remember that being what they do in Paper Magic. Um, I think that I remember that being the case, right? If you accidentally draw an extra card now at Competitive REL, your opponent V-clicks you.
Um, I'm on camera. I can put the exact card I drew back. If that works. We'll see if that works. So the, the precedent for this is I remember seeing back when uh, Tassiger was a card, Tassiger did the uh, did his activated ability and hello please honey okay all right so we'll shuffle that and there was something about the way that a card was returned to hand that was incorrect no maybe it was another card oh dear whatever it was and they were on cameras Patrick Chapin and somebody else and tech the the ruling on camera they they said it ought to have been different because it was on camera so we could like actually verify you know all right cool uh, it's still not great. Not <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> that's, that's fair. <laughs> Alright. May I please, uh, could you please scoot back just a bit, honey? I'm, oh, could I scoot you over here, please? My foot is falling asleep. Have you ever had that happen to you? Where your foot falls asleep a little mm -mm. bit? You haven't? You were right on my foot and the blood was not getting all to my foot. That's all. Plus you have Pikachu. Pikachu can help you out. Pikachu and Meowth. Alright, well okay. Now that that's a thing, um... So I could... okay. So Hercules Recall for three mana. Ponder. See if I can find it. Ooh, that, that's, a, that's a play. That's a play, folks. Oh my goodness, that's a thing I can do. It does help my opponent out, though. They're still going to be able to do everything that they would like if I miss. But I think that's right. So I'm going to go Hercules Recall using C and 2 Moxen. Shoot all their stuff away. Use the last Underground C for Ponder. See if I can find it, and then activate and hopefully win. So we're going we're gonna to go for it. If this doesn't work, I'm actually in a good bit of trouble. Alright. Itchy nose. Itchy, itchy nose nose. If this doesn't work... Oh, no, it's pretty! It has a bow! Your Chikorita is pretty. Um, if it doesn't... That's obnoxious. I already had that in my hand. So, uh, yeah. This will be my third, uh, in this very match, my third time in a row, hoping to get Progenitus off the top and it doesn't work. If it doesn't work. Alright. Wish me luck, Evangeline. Go. Go. Alright. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Ready? Uh, I don't actually know what we... Oh, wait, Lucky Kiss. Lucky Kiss. Oh, <laughs> Lucky Hug. hug. Alright, let's do it. Alright, three. <clears throat> okay, we, we, we got close. We got close. We got a, a demonic consultation. That's close enough. That means that if... So we're still going to get Trinisphered on the next turn. But if that's all, let's look at the opponent's list. No ensnaring bridge. If that's all we have to worry about, we're safe on the consultation. I will keep that exact... Whoa, oh, wait a minute. Do I need the second Ink Moth? It's probably not bad. Um, if they don't have Wasteland, if they do have Wasteland, I'll need the second Ink Moth. Yeah, we'll keep it exactly the way it is. Alternatively, I could put the Fetch Land in front so that if they hit the Ink Moth, I can just not fetch and get an Ink Moth. If they do, if they keep the Ink Moth around, I'll have a fetch land. So that I, you know, if I don't need that Ink Moth, I'm fine. But it, oh no, no, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We, we would like the Ink Moth there, because we're going to Demonic Consultation, and we're oh, going to draw... No kill yet.
alas. Well, because I don't have colors for counter magic, I'm actually just gonna throw this in right now. Uno. Alright, Evangeline. Oh, very good. Thank you for helping out. I'm gonna move this over here so that when I bring my leg out, it doesn't <laughs> mess with it. Alright. Pastor. Alright. Please help me. I'm going to trick you this roof all nice. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm doing a hairstyle trick you this roof. I like that. That's a great idea. Last time doing this. Viper, you're not dead yet. Yeah? We might need to cut some of the trims. Oh, we can... This can be its hairbrush. It's even the, almost the same color. Alright. Doing it in this order. Interesting. Uh, soul ring. Still have... Alright, no, we have no more uh, workshop mana. It's all downhill from here, folks. Do you have corn? I'm brushing its hair. Cool. Actually, even if corn's out... We're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by my count. So we're... yeah, we're there. If, if there's Karn Mycosynthlatus, we're in trouble. Mm. Yes, love? Well, friend, you... you it's written... Uh, it's written those are the decorations of the wall. Okay. This one will be the will pretend that the eyes are like the scissors. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Its eyes are like scissors, you think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they're lines. I guess that makes sense. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Cut some of the things. Ooh. What is that? Ooh, um. Now we don't win. Okay. Get all the edges off the leaf. Evangeline, would you do me a favor, please? Yes. Give me just a moment to think. Because now we have a serious we have a serious problem. Walking ballista is a problem. I, I had assumed, incorrectly of course, that if they had ballista they would have played it out. To be fair, this could be the top deck. So that's once again we go 0 for 3 with finding progenitus off the top. Okay. It's a four out, I'm folks. Trying not to get your bounce off, but I do you Not right now, please. I have to... I have to think... Oh! This is an instant. I messed up. I messed up. Demonic Consultation is an instant, so I actually should have done that beforehand since I don't need the second Ink Moth. Um... Well... There's a few things we can do here, folks. There are a few things we can do. Let's look over our deck list. Outs. Fatal push? One of. We can just lose, if that doesn't work out. Tinker. One of. We can just lose if that doesn't work out, and if we mill Blightsteel Colossus. Okay. Please give me a moment. Uh, Progenitus is no longer a win. Blighted Agent is no longer a win. Hercules Recall is now a four of. And I can try to do Recall, but Recall is only a temporary out. Null Rod is a one of. Sorcerer Spyglass is a one of. Okay. Um. Like, all of my good outs are one ofs. Honey? I could use I could use a hug. Okay. If I go for Hercules Recall here, that would be yet another hope I get Progenitus off the top plan. It's a four of, and it's the safest of the options. It's actually a three of now. Um, oh my goodness.
Mm -hmm. I need to think, honey. Please, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but I really need to think. This is a big decision. Okay. All right. Let's walk through this. So, Fatal Push kills Walking Ballista, but doesn't win the game. Null Rod doesn't kill Walking Ballista. I'm thinking. No Rod also hurts me a little bit. <sighs> Alright. I think I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to pull the trigger, and I'm going to name Fatal Push. Alright, you ready? Mm -hmm. Lucky kiss, please. Alright, thank you, love. I'm sorry about being... about needing the needing the focus. Right, once I hit this button, it's over. Right, fatal push. Null rod keeps it alive, so it gives me a few turns. Fatal push, I'm only going to take five. Those are both one ofs. Energy flux. Energy flux is interesting. I think my opponent still can... Yeah, my opponent can keep it alive. They just keep paying the ancient tomb, so that's not enough. Hercules Recall buys a turn, hits me for four. All right. Fatal Push. It's done. All right. Here we go. Oh, wrong. Function. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, I'm glad I didn't say Null Rod. All right, there's no Fatal Push, but we're not done yet. We're not out of the woods yet. There's one Progenitus. All right, here we go. This is going to take a while, folks, I imagine. Now, I need to make sure I don't accidentally go too far. Once I hit Fatal Push, that's it. Uh-oh. Down two Progenitus. There's three Progenitus. Uh-oh. Four. Oh, no. Tinker. Tinker actually would have worked out, then. I couldn't have known, but Tinker would have worked out. Folks, it's not looking good. We haven't hit Blasphemous Act yet, but we did just hit Ancestral Recall Mystical Tutor. That's another Blighted Agent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fatal Push. I have eight cards left in the deck. And just to make sure I counted correctly, that is one, two, three, four Progenitus. No Blasphemous Act. Okay, so we're still in this. We're still in this technically. Technically, which is the best kind of correct. Technically correct. Okay. So, I don't know what my next card would have been. And all agents and Tinker for Blight. So the difference that it would have made is that I would be drawing another card here. You... <laughs> I win 0% of the games I can see. My opponent thinks I'm dead. I'm pretty darn close to it. This is in my hand. I'm pretty stinking close. There's one, as far as I'm aware, there's one card that gets me out of this, and it's Blasphemous Act. Uh, yeah, I'll be casting soon. Actually, looking at it, one, two, yeah, okay, so I don't even have other Blazing Shoals. Um... Sure, why not? Take five.
This on its own is not a fast enough clock. Dismember. Dismember it, please. Yes! Yes, it worked out! My idiocy paid off! <laughs> okay. Um... I don't know... I... I don't know why you did that so early, but I commend you. Maybe it's because there's another dismember. How many dismembers in the sideboard? Two. Okay. There could be another dismember. Alright, pass the turn. Three cards. Two cards and then draw. Three cards in hand. Oh my goodness. What's it going to be? Okay. I have the dumbest luck in the world. Uh, if I had not drawn first, getting the Ink Moth Nexus, I wish I could say that I did that on purpose. Full disclosure, did not. As if it weren't obvious enough. Now we, we tap that down. That's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. It happens. Yes, love? I need to help me with drawing it. Shukawita's hair. Okay. At this point, uh, I don't need to focus, so yes, I will help. Uh, this will be the measuring thing of the hair. Yeah. Or is it the hair are you brushing? Okay? Oh, am I dead? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm dead. No, I'm not! I'm No, yeah, I'm dead. If that had been a blighted agent, I could live. But it's not. So I don't. It's not very going well. It's not going very well? The measuring thing is, is going well, it's just Ooh. not as measuring as it's Interesting. Fine. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Ooh. Um. Interesting. Evangeline, please give me just a moment. I'm focusing. One, two recalls, three recalls, one's in the graveyard. I don't think I've seen energy flux yet. No energy flux. One of these cards is a blight still. Have I seen show and tell? Does it matter? Yeah, it does matter. It, it matters. It matters. See, this is why I say the viper sounds terse. Could I see your hand as opposed to just hand? It is what it is. Ink Moth Nexus. That is indeed correct. Not yet. You don't have enough lands with Karn left in deck. I don't, I don't understand, unfortunately. You don't have enough lands with Karn le left in deck. Like, maybe this is a, an attempt to try to get me to concede when I'm not actually dead, but show and tell's a card. Oh, Echoing is in deck. My opponent doesn't know I don't have Echoing Truth, actually. Alright. Mm hmm Yeah. In all honesty, it, it's pretty obvious next turn they're going to minus and probably get Mycosynth Lattice, though to be fair, that's what I thought they were going to do here. But I imagine that Sorcerer Spyglass was just the better safe than sorry plan. Trinisphere. Okay, Trinisphere is good. You're going to give them the no response even though they know. Alright, draw. That's show and tell. Pass turn. Mm-hmm. There is always the chance that my opponent just misplays somehow. And if I get Blightsteel, there's no more Progenitus in the deck, but if I get Blightsteel, then I'm okay. That's It wouldn't be in there. I, I looked over this a few times, please, and I didn't see Blightsteel, so I don't think it's in there. You don't have enough lands with Karn left in deck. I... I don't understand. Forgot to take Academy down from Ballista. I need to tap one more. No worries. It happens. 
Mm -hmm. I need to do the brushing, but I'll need to do the measuring, okay? For right now, that's all right. Right now, I don't have to focus. I, I do wish you would give me more time to focus, though, please. Okay? I know it's tough to have to play when I'm doing this and to not make too much noise. It really does help out, though. You're sweet. You know that? Yeah. I have, oh, sorry. You know, you need to focus. Sorry. I'll... I'll... Mm-hmm. So I need to focus as well. Okay. Okay, I still need to do some hairstyle. I see. There's lots of hairstyle on some of this. I believe that's lattice, but that's a. Oh, it's time vault. Um. Oh, there's no lattice in this sideboard. That's why. That's why. Crucible. All right. I think what my opponent was meaning by that earlier is I don't have enough lands to cast Blightsteel when I naturally draw it. I think that's what was meant. I don't need lands to naturally draw it. To, yeah, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. What did you bring to class? What did you bring to class? I'm still an Infect deck. The last time I tried to do this, it didn't work, so let's try a different function. No, oh, wait, no, it was this one that worked. Nothing. That means that last one's a planeswalker. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Can use this Sure. That's a pillow. You know, the one time I, I need a lucky draw... Well, actually, like the fifth time I need a lucky draw, it works out. I get show and tell into Blightsteel. All right. Ah, find a Voltaic Key. Oh, and Sorcerer's Spyglass doesn't shut down the mana part of Ink Moth Nexus. Just for anyone that happened to be wondering, unless they're mana abilities, so. And there's no taxing going on here. There's Trinisphere, but it already costs three mana, so that's fine. All right, what you got, opponent? Oh, uh, Time Bolt is tapped. Sorry. Yeah, that, that doesn't come in unta- oh, yeah, we got there. Okay. <laughs> it's alright. So we might end up playing a game four, maybe. I don't know. Top deck Voltaic Key. Okay. Ticking up Karn is not quick enough because I have the kill on board. Alright. What are we killing? Oh, oh, we're making Crucible of Worlds a creature. Nice. Actually, nice. Now, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Okay, there is a problem, though. There is a tiny problem, Evangeline. I need a red card for this Blazing Shoal. May I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. The last few times I did that, it didn't work out. You know what? Whatever. Who, who cares? If I can find Blasphemous Act in these last six cards, I win. Please hold my hand. All right. Just for a second. All right, wish me luck. Ready? Untap. Upkeep. Draw! Mm, oops. <laughs> oops. Would you please let me 
focus right now. Yes. Yeah, so oh, I'm. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll let you focus. Job. I'm sorry. I'll let you focus. Just to test her tail. There may not be a second Karn actually because there was a tick up that turn instead of a tick instead of playing another Karn to get Voltaic Key. So there may not actually or if there is a second Karn, maybe it's Scion. So why the opponent didn't play something here, and show and tell doesn't let you put in planeswalkers, which is why I, I think there was a planeswalker there. Uh Seven hours. Seven hours, one day. And once you pick it up from a point from two years ago. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> For a plate from two years ago, yeah? Uh, not that. From the day you wake up. Okay, good. Pick it up, it will dissolve the pressure on that. Put some water in. Put a bottle there in the middle. Put that string, take it off the bowl. Put it around, tie it around. Put some water in. But first, put some milk in. Put some water. Put some green water inside. Put some. Um, red milk inside. Sit for a couple of minutes and wait. Cross your fingers. And put a shot over that. When it's seven seconds. Eight seconds, I mean. If I lose to not drawing Blasphemous Act here... And put the Georgia Bulldogs around that shot. Yes, the Georgia Bulldogs. And I, put, I went to the University of Georgia, and that's my... That's our mascot. And bunny as a pup. And then put some... Like those... <laughs> over that bunny ear. Oof, rip. And then... Okay. Put a we made it. Put Hug, please. We made it. Put weeds. Hug. Oh my goodness, we're on to game four. Oh, we're on to game four. You are great, Evangeline. And I'll tell you more. Then put. Oh, give dirt. me just a moment, please, because this is a big decision too. So we take out Damping Sphere, and we take out Sorcerer's Spyglass. Sorcerer's Spyglass is better on the play than the draw, so we'll take that out. We have to put two cards back in now. I'm 
personally of the opinion that Force of Will is significantly better on the draw than on the play. We get an extra card anyway to make up for having to pitch two. So I'm going to do two Force of Wills in, or all the Force of Wills in, and I'm going to go down to one Preordain. This has been my MO in the matchup. However, no, no, I'm two Preordain and a Gataxian Probe. Alright. Okay, so final tally is, it's just the five, Auto includes three Hercules Recall, Null Rod, um, Energy Flux, and then uh, the, the swap is Gitaxian Probe comes out, Preordain, Preordain comes out, Forcible, 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 Forcible comes in, and there's one other. Oh, wait. Alright. I play. Thought it was safe because Tinker. It happens. It happens. Ooh. What is it? A really, really bad hand. Uh, I can't keep it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I cannot. It has two mana, but neither of those mana happen to make blue. It's a really... Nor do they even make black for Vamp Tutor. It's a really weird shove, unfortunately. Not keeping just checking draws okay. blighted black lotus uh still not worth it okay, okay. yes can I come in? yes you may come in i'm already in but yeah you are this is acceptable it's not great there's Force of Will without anything to pitch, but it's better than going to five. All right. Keep. Let me get my scry on real quick. Look at the top card. It's Time Walk. I mean, sure, I guess. I mean, it's it's basically, it doesn't matter <laughs> too much. Uh, we'll, we'll say that's okay. We'll say that's fine. All right, you're good. Good to go. Oh, thank you, my love. Jay, yes. I kind of broke a pot of this. That's okay. It was just a cheap little thing, anyway. Uh, how can we get it back together? We can't. We'll just have to get a new one. Oh, that was a. Wait, what? Oh, oh, I see, I see. It started on my turn, apparently, for some reason. Maybe. Did it? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say that resolves. What? Is this a perfect style? I'm not sure that there is a perfect style, but that's a really good one. Uh, I don't think... I'll get another style for you. Okay. Alright, so on my turn, draw. Gee, I wonder what I was going to draw. Look. Mox. Mox. Yeah. Well, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, honey. I know, I'm just... We'll do our deck thinning. The, the deck thinning might actually make a difference in the walking ballista, you know, in that scenario. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, the top point is just a little too stringy. Next turn. It's still perfect. Yep, it's still perfect. Ooh! Ooh, guess what, Evangeline? What? We're going to have fun. Yeah, we are. I see that. You see that? I see this. We're going right. to have fun. That's a good card to have I... here. Alright, so things I can do. Hey, Jay? Oh, wait, wait. Yes? 
we have we have that one, but he has the same one? Yeah, we How? both have it. We both have one in our deck. There's more than one in the whole world. Um, okay, so things we can do here. I can go detutor into Null Rod, and that might just shut the opponent's deck down. That limits them to an Inventor's Fair and a Walking Ballista, which has to stay on too. And that's probably good enough, honestly. Uh, it does shut down some of my mana, but I think my deck can play out of that. So that's what we're going to do. Do you think that would be okay, Evangeline? Yes. Okay. I think the hairstyle you gave it is good. I didn't mean to sound rude when I said there's no perfect hairstyle. What I mean is that some people really like one thing, some people really like other things. There's no one thing that everybody in the whole world likes. I think. Alright. Okay. Okay! <laughs> I gotta be Ness from Earthbound. Okay! I hate that some people have tried to make that into... You know what? I, some people have tried to make that into like a... a like a... A not very nice thing coming when it comes to race. So maybe if I do it with my left hand so that the P is backwards? For people that know what that is. Like, I, I hate when people that are hateful try to take stuff like that and um, and ruin it for the rest of us. I really hate when that happens. So my inclination is to say, use it in a context that's not like that so that it doesn't only ever have the bad connotation, if that makes sense. If you're watching this and you're not from the U.S., I'm sorry for this tangent. Um, there's something that some people do, Evangeline, that's not very nice. And I wish they wouldn't do it, but they do it anyway. So, I try to keep that from being a thing. Alright, so... It's a little... It's like a bow? Or is it a cross? Uh, it's... The thing is at the bottom, it's switching sides. And this is tangly at the end. Um, yeah? This is holding the tangles up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do another one. It's just going to be deep down inside. Okay. Let me see how much time we have left on the clock. 37 minutes. Ooh. I hope we have enough time. Alright, taken two. Alright. Okay. We're down to one mana. Well, no, not really. We have two, but you know, we're okay. Look, I still haven't done the style yet. Okay. I need a tiny part. Hello? There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, taking one. Hey, 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 Jay. Where's the tiny part? I don't know. I didn't even see it, honey. I need to, I well, I say I need to focus. Um in general I need to focus. It's... I don't think it's... Yeah, I, I don't think so. I need it, though. It has to be here somewhere. I could just not draw any... Th oh, there's a strip mine. That's a pretty good card for this. Bad. You found it? Well, I... I right. Preordain? Let I me focus, please, Evangeline. Please let me focus. Okay. So we'll look at the top two cards. Ink Moth. I don't think we're on the Ink Moth plan anymore. So I think I need to shove this. Put it on the bottom. And then we'll put this on the bottom. And we'll draw a card. That may be incorrect. Um, so with a strip mine here, let me, hear me out, hear me out. With a strip mine there, I may just need to find more lands. So putting an ink moth on top and drawing it and letting my opponent strip mine me, like they're going to take one of my lands anyway. Hmm, that's not a bad idea, I think. If I already know there's a strip mine and they're trying to keep me off of resources and my win conditions now are three mana, ooh, maybe I need to do both, actually.
All right. Put you on top. Hey, look, we're right back where we started. Yep. Is Oh, that's where it is. I found it. I don't know how, but when I did this, it like fluttered down, so maybe it was on my hand. Now, if I force a will, that actually does cut a turn off my walking blister clock. Um... Yeah, Inventor's Fair is plus one, Mana Vault is minus one. Yeah, that should do it. Alright, cool. Taken two. It probably doesn't matter. Well, no, Progenitus is a card. No worries, it happens. I aspire to be known as the most chill magic player in existence. Look. It's nice. It's pretty. Is it the first to be found? The first ever to be found. Alright, taken two. It has to be the first to be found. It has to be. Do I deck thin here? Yes, I think, because I'm going to have to fetch anyway. If I find something like a Tinker or a Show and Tell, I'm going to have to fetch anyway, so I'm going to take the one no matter what. If I'm going to take the one, I might as well actually, like, find something for it. Get that last one. Hey, you never know. Alright. And then, Shuffle. I, I think we don't know the identity of any cards in the deck, but just in case, we'll draw. Daggummit. Not what I need to see. Daggummit. <laughs> Alright. Pass turn. Yes, love? Why are you why they all looking at that? I'm gonna look at this so I hope to go be like it. Sing all nice and neat. Alright, Chikorita. Get you nice and neat. Alright, taken two. Look at you. Yeah, you need to be clean. Nice and clean. Oh, here's the uh, the brush to scrub it, right? We need water on the brush. Okay, so once again, there is a, a fair and vault cancel. Yep, that's true. Uh, Evangeline, just a moment. I need to think through something. So, Misty Reinforced Fetch and Force of Will would both cut a turn off from me. Um. We're getting entirely too close, unfortunately. It's it's not looking good for T1 Glistener Elf here. Is it is your stone Which one is you again? Which one am I? I am T1 Glistener Elf. T1 Glistener Elf. Mm-hmm. And draw. Ooh, there's a Hercules recall. That's a thing. That stalls for a turn. Yes, honey? That actually stalls for more than a turn if they don't draw land. Oh, because that's the name of my card. T1 Glistener Elf is the name of my card, honey. Okay, they just played that out. We've got something. We ha we are cooking. We are cooking. We're cooking. Yeah. So that's a thing. 
that actually stalls potentially for well more than that, because they don't have the mana to cast uh, Walking Ballista. Okay. Uh, shake. 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 <laughs> I think they get the idea now. Shake. Replayed them. Oh! I missed the shortcut. Fair enough. Alright. So drawing again for my turn. Might as well hold it up and then pass the turn. We'll say, we'll say so. I think so. Uh, Land plays OMG. <laughs> I feel you. Okay. That's a thing. That's not the thing I need, but that is a thing. Alright. Probably. Well, you never see this chocolate in real life. Mm hmm. You're right, we haven't. We haven't seen this video with chocolate yet. Oh, well, I that cuts off the Tinker things. kill, unless I find Brainstorm. That cuts off Tinker. So now we need Show and Tell, which, to be fair, is a one of, plus the Mystical Tutor, plus the Vamp Tutor. Like, we can, we can find it. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I actually don't know what to cash that in for yet. Let's take a look. Okay. Yes, love? Uh, while you're doing this, uh, what are those things? Oh, they're, uh, they go on our backpacks. Please let me focus, please, love. I appreciate it, but please let me think. So the problem with Demonic Consultation is because it d doesn't guarantee me a certain card, I don't know what to get yet. There's a bunch of one ofs I could risk, but in this spot I don't really need to risk it. So we're just going to pass the turn. Plus it's an instant. Yeah. So now there's life gain. Ooh, there's a land. Taken two, not that it matters. Night, night. Good night. I think I have force here. Just because that's a clock. It's, it's a little unfortunate. I was one man away from being able to do that twice. Oh god. Yeah, that's nice. Still not it, though. Pass the turn. Yes, I know there's a hotkey for it. Okay, I'm to I see. I'm still not getting perfect at this walk. Still not. Okay. Hmm. Like it? I do. I do like it. Uh... All right. We're actually going to run out of film if we're not careful. Film. Alright, pass turn. Powerful magic going on here. No kidding. What's this going to be? A crucible. Wait, wait, I need to think. That's, that's fine. No, 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 it's not fine. There's a strip mine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're in big trouble. Yeah, let me think. Let me think here, honey. So this is actually, this is potentially game if I let this go. All right. Strip mine. Okay. 
Alright, please Evangeline, give me just a moment. Alright? Thank you. Ooh, recall. Checking the clock here to make sure I have enough time. One, two, three. There's Tinker, right on time. I have one, two, three, I have nine cards in hand. So... No lands, though. Things I can do. I can play... Blighted Agent. Oh, wait a minute, this is good, this is good. I can play Blighted Agent. Consultation. I'm in, I, I'm actually in okay shape. This even plays around the strip mine. I guess we'll play this out, just to not have to discard to hand size. And then if they hit me with strip mine, I'll consultation. EOT strip mine. Shake the, uh. Hello? What's going on? Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's very not good. You're right, it's very not good. I could also hit a blighted agent, but I could consultation for a blighted agent. But I'd like to keep this thing alive. So let's go brainstorm. draw three. One, two, three. There's Progenitus and Ink Moth. Ooh, okay. Hmm. There's not a way I can save this, unfortunately. And Hercules Recall is good, but it's not good against that in particular. So I'll put two back. And Tinker... So, it obviously Blightsteel goes. Blightsteel even goes first, because I'm about to tinker next turn. I think the other Blazing Shoal is also not good enough. So, we're gonna do this. Let it go. Blighted Agent dies. Alright. And then, pass. We're trying. We're pushing through. We're pushing through. Look. Oh, thank you. Very good. Very good. You have your fingers crossed. Oh, Wasteland... Oh, Wasteland Strip Mine. That's not good. It's actually okay. It's not the end of the world. So, even if they hit two lands here, we're still in okay shape. What is it, love? I'm part of the train, but I'm in the train too? Yeah. I I don't know what you mean. So you're in the train and you're the train. Oh, okay. Alright. Karn is good. I mean he's not, but <laughs> we're gonna pretend that's okay. Yeah, it's train window. Oh I see. We're going through the train. Alright, that is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's big. We need to hurry and win. We can do it, we just need to hurry. Uh. Yes, love? I'm sorry, I'm trying to focus. I, I know I keep saying that a lot, but it's true. Oh, I didn't play the land to fetch here. I didn't play the land to fetch. Oh, well. Okay. Yes, love? Do you like style? I do like Chikorita's Look. style. It's very pretty. She's 
since this ring is in front of Chico, we just she can't get out. So just have to jump over it. Okay. 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 You'll have to help me get her to jump over it. Even though I know it's the next card. Just gonna do that real quick. And then just to add insult to injury. No, 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 no. Because they have a construct here. Oops. Pass. Strip mine, end of turn. <laughs> Alright, they didn't. Yes, love? You're doing your tree pose, right? Oh, your, your dance pose. That makes sense. Hey. Yes, love? Ooh, I like it. Hey. What is it? I can't under... Um... Something between us. Parents, you probably can guess. But she can do it on her own. She's good. Alright, let's see. What's it going to be? Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. They're not dead yet. They're not dead yet. They have a lot of stuff they can replay, but that Karnstruct is gone. They're going to have Lodestone, Karnstruct, and I am going to have a Blazing Kill. Let's see. Yeah, that Null Rod is being a workhorse in this matchup. Absolutely a workhorse. Alright, pass turn, please. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's that's not bad. That's a seven seven. And a five three. Unbeknownst to my opponent, they're about to get plus ten plus ten here. Which one are we hitting? Strip mine. Oh, soul ring. Okay, cool. Oh, made it eight. Fair enough. You do what you gotta do. Eight, three. That's eleven. This is eleven. Plus ten. Got there. Alright. We'll draw. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I mean, I guess I'll play the land. I guess I'll target uh, them. Just to just to clarify, just to make sure, you never know. You never know. Now they have no mana that they can use here because of the null rod. So even if dismember's in hand, then they're I'm still in okay shape. If you see me poke the screen every now and then, it's to see how much time I have left on the card. Thinking. Yeah. So this is a real decision for the opponent because. If they block with the Karnstruct, then they go down, they, you know, it's 11, they'll take 3 Infect, but they'll have 5, which is not enough to be lethal. Um, if they block with Lodestone Golem, they're going to take 8, but then they'll have lethal. So that looks to be the easy play. Is that your final answer? Jeopardy music intensifies. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 that, that's not Jeopardy. That's, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? I have to do both here. All right. 
They are correct. Do I do it anyway? I think the answer is yes. Yes, I do it anyway. All right, once again, that is three. That is eight. Put those together, that's 11. This is 11. Twenty-one. Trample, infect, indestructible. Game five. They're checking. They're they're checking to make sure. I don't blame Vipe at all. All right. I need a minute between games, please. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm going to be just a moment. Hey, we're back. That took us a bit. Uh, for those that didn't figure it out, or those who aren't parents, someone had to potty. So, I did do a little bit over here, and the life. Alright, so, yeah, we were, we were getting that sorted out again. My opponent uh, kept, I kept. My opponent went Ancient Tomb Walking Blista. I went Forcible Pitch Hercules Recall, and now it's my turn. So, sorry Viper that took so long. Um, if you're a parent, I'm positive you understand what that is like. I am positive. Okay, so we're we're going to play it uh, a little safe, I guess. We're going to go Blighted Agent and still have the Ink Moth Nexus up, and we'll pass the turn. Now, we don't have any draw power, but we're one draw step away from having the kill. That said, my opponent just went turn one, so this is presumably the top deck. My opponent just went turn one walking ballista. We're probably okay. I mean, it may not be a very mana intensive hand, which means that the longer the game goes on, the worse it'll get for me because I'll have access to a bunch of stuff. Oh boy, speaking of, here's five mana for itchy nose. Uh, Karn? Maybe. Karn. Karn resolves. No response. Yeah, Karn is, is interesting. Uh, it doesn't have a Mycosynth Lattice in the deck. Uh, Viper does not have a Mycosynth Lattice. Which, I was wondering why, oh, get Sorcerer Spyglass, why get Time Vault, why not just kill? That's the reason why. Viper wasn't misplaying. Uh oh, gotta hurry. That's a time vault. That's a time vault. Now, looking at the deck, whoa, there is one Voltaic key in the side and three in the main. So my opponent is threatening to kill me on the next turn, Evangeline. And you know what that means? What? It means I've gotta hurry. I have to hurry. So this is not lethal. Okay. Yes? I think that that's not the same as that, but that's not the same as that, either. I guess so. Look. Oh, I need to focus, honey. This is the last game. It won't take long, I promise. Winky's burn its nose with its tissue. And we're going to swing at you. So that if they go and get the, uh, I mean, I'm not going to kill them through regular damage anyway. I mean, I'm not, I'm going to one-shot them or lose. I'm not going to be able to just ping them one at a time. Alright, so clearly holding up the Echoing Truth. Alright, and there's a Time Vault in hand. If there's already a Voltaic Key in hand, then I'm, I'm just done here. So Time Vault. Okay. Do you have it? Evangeline, please give me a moment. This is a really important... I have a card here in my hand. This one, Echoing Truth. Oh, they're going to get the Voltaic Key now. 
which actually means they win the game. If they play this correctly, they win the game. Are they gonna win the game? Well, let's find out. Yes, they do. I'm going to make Viper play this out. I'm sorry, Viper. I'm not trying to be a jerk. Um, but So I'm, I can go Echoing Truth, Target Time Vault, make them bounce it, uh, Ancient Tomb, they'll play it back, and then they'll still have one mana for Voltaic Key. So I actually still lose. But I still cheered you on. You did cheer me on. Thank you. Oh, you know what? It's... Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to do it in response to the Voltaic Key. They pay one. Oh, you idiot, you idiot. Yeah, not one. Oh, it's fine. Alright, now I lose. I mean, unless this top deck is Progenitus or Blasphemous Act, I probably lose anyway. But we'll find out. This is a weird case, folks, where I'm actually hoping it's not. And the reason is because I'm hoping that I don't... Um, Alright, they're gonna tap Time Vault. Take your next turn. Um, I, they already played a land this turn, but eh, whatever. It doesn't matter. That That's supposed to be their land now. Uh huh. Now, Evangeline, now we can play. Now we can play. Well, my opponent's deck goes off. Now we can play. What is this? That's a little spot where some of Lanky's fur came off, and you're seeing the fabric underneath. It's like a like a bald spot. Do you see how my beard here has a little spot where it's lighter, like a hole? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lanky has that too. I don't know how common that is, but like full, 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 and then there's just some spots over here. Trinosphere. Uh, uh, okay. When they go in, you be this one. Okay. Cinderquail will be Winky. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. I'll get you down. Oh, thank you. You got me down. I'm a swimmer. Mm -hmm. Wait, monkeys don't swim. How monkeys can, don't swim. How can this one swim? Evangeline, I, this one was not your fault, I think. This one was my fault. I messed up. I don't think that your playing distracted me. Maybe, maybe it did. I can't know for sure. But I, I was supposed to do Echoing was. Truth when they activated the Voltaic Key, so that they would not have enough mana and I would get one more turn, one more shot at it. And who knows, maybe it would have worked out. Um, Jay? Yes, honey? How can Winky swim? Not anymore, because his legs are tied. 
you tied Lanky's legs up with the Velcro. Well... I guess it can swim a tiny bit with these two feet. It's a fish now. Um, I didn't ask for a take back, see? It probably is not a good idea, but it's okay. I did kind of imply one. I said that I meant to do it in response to the key activation. Witchbane Orb. Why are we doing Witchbane Orb? This is inter- oh, because it's a creature. Now you have a clock. Please let me see my next card. At this point, I've conceded, so it might- wait, 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 wait. Alright, so we're revealing those. You had me anyway. I think. Good. Good game. You just had to not. Was that in your hand at the time? Oh. Honor? Dismember was there an opener. Okay, good. Uh. Then. You just had to not play it, um, play Time Vault again, and you had it. So close. I was hoping for the reverse 3-0. <laughs> I would not have turned to Karn if Jet wasn't top deck. Yes, honey? The whole time you were texting him, you kind of squished my belly. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Too much pressure? The, no, it was just the legs that you were doing this. It was a little too much. I'm sure we both did. <laughs> yeah. Here. <laughs> she came in. And it's late for you, right? Alright. Game 3 I've been mulling over and I just had things I could have done with Karn instead. I mean, instead to win. Yeah, so going for the Sorcerer Spyglass was interesting, but not necessarily wrong. It's almost midnight. Oh! EST2. Cool. Cool. So, I'm actually kind of glad that Viper had it anyway, because that makes me feel less bad about misplaying. If Viper didn't have it, the only thing I could have done is try to make Viper play the Time Vault again. Viper's play has, for the most part, been pretty tight, so I don't think Viper would have done that. Alright. Evangeline, may I please have a hug? We made it to top four, love. Hmm. Please. Oh, um, I'm trying not to push down. Win and I'll record finals. Like GG. Mm -hmm. You did a good I job, would. Evangeline. I would. You would like to type? Oh, oh, yes, you may type. Me type. Yes, it's her turn to type. Will do. Uh, do please hurry before Viper leaves the room. Leaves the chat room. <laughs> no context here, folks. No context. Viper, if you're wondering what on earth is going on... <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Send. Send. That means... See ya.
in toddler. Oh, I guess I should have capitalized the T in toddler since, like, I'm making it a language. Oh, whatever. Alright. Adios. Thanks for the games. Hey, it worked out. I mean, we didn't win, but we came top eight last time. This time we made top four. Me. If we keep this up, we'll make top two next time and then we'll win. So we'll win in two seasons, right? Me. Oh, go for it. Alright, Evangeline, you are so sweet. Thank you very, very much. I love you very much. And you know what? <laughs> She's so engrossed in the typing, that didn't even tickle her. <laughs> oh, that did. That did. That did it, though. You know what really will do it? What really will do the job? I'm t I am typing. As soon as you get done typing. There's a lot of typing. All right. Looks like you might almost be done. No, I'm not. <laughs> Power suggestion failed. Reverse psychology failed. Hey. Alright, please be done soon. Please. <laughs> Alright. Done. Now that he's not in the room, he won't see this. And now we do tickles! And now we do tickles! No. Alright. No. I love you, love. I love you. Alright, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.